We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Sunit Singh Thuli, who is the Chief Executive Officer of DataWind. Sunit, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Now, perhaps we could start off by talking about a little bit about DataWind, about what you produce. Uh, I know there's some very interesting stuff there, so perhaps you could let, us, let our viewers know what, what you're up to. Sure. So we're based in Mississauga, Canada, uh, but uh, we're focused on bridging the digital divide, primarily in developing countries. So we do that, one, by focusing on creating very low-cost uh, tablet computers and smartphones. We, we are globally known as the world's lowest cost producer of tablets and, and, uh, and low-end smartphones. But we bundle those with uh, free internet access, and we also provide internet access at about $2 a year. So we focus on the hardware, we focus on access, and then we add to that content primarily around education and provide a complete solution to entry-level consumers in the developing world. And what countries are benefiting from this? So the, the first market that we really focused on is in India. Uh, India, well over a billion people that are still not connected to the internet, and where really the reason for that is the affordability gap. Uh, we've become the largest supplier of tablets in India, 35 to 37 percent market share consistently over the last uh, many quarters, uh, double of uh, the, the number two player. Uh, in Latin America, we are in Mexico, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Guatemala, um, um, I'm missing one, uh, I think Colombia also. In uh, Africa, we are in uh, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, Rwanda, uh, in Zim Zimbabwe. Fantastic. And what's the reaction been like? Very strong. Uh, we, we entered the Indian market in 2012. We had no brand presence. We, we didn't have an identity and, and we're expected to compete against Samsung and the big boys. And today we, we do double their numbers for tablet computers in the Indian market. And, and the reason for that is that we, we sort of position these devices as the poor man's computer, as the first computer that somebody whose monthly income is $150, $200 a month uh, could take advantage of. And, and they primarily do so for education. So the device with uh, a year of internet access uh, and educational content all for sub $30. And how'd you do it? Well, <laughs> uh, first is we, we shift the burden of margins. So instead of focusing on margins and hardware and access, we realize that, that, the, that once somebody's connected to the internet, the ecosystem of content and applications and so on all comes alive. And, and we maintain sort of very minimal margins on both uh, hardware and, and access, and then we add to it um, um, the, the, the content and so on. So, so first, by not trying to focus on trying to create, get margin on, on hardware and access, we, we, we reduce that. Second is, we, with regards to hardware, um, we, we call it the concept of the good enough. You don't need the sort of next great iPad killer, you need something that will function, give a good web experience, provide, play HD video, uh, run the latest Android operating system, that, that's what we run, uh, and, and that, that's good enough. We, we don't need to have the octa-core processor with, with, with more RAM than you know what to do with and so on. Second is we've created a technology on which we've received 18 US patents a compression acceleration technology that reduces bandwidth consumption by factors 30 times. So our, our, patent, our patented technology not only compresses and accelerates the delivery of web pages, but because it consumes uh, 10 to 30 times less data than what a normal web page would take, uh, the cost of delivering internet access is very low. So we've applied to be a virtual operator in India. We expect to receive a license from the government before the end of this year and launch our own solutions to the market, delivering about $2 a year type of internet access uh, for that target customer. Are you here at ITU Telecom World? Uh, I wanted to find out from you, wh what has been the benefit of being here? Uh, huge. Uh, this is a great place to meet both telecom operators and regulators from around the world. This is a, a great opportunity to meet with uh, government officials in developing countries uh, who'd be enthused by our effort to bridge the digital divide, and, and it's a very relaxed environment to do that in. Great. Well, thank you very much. We wish you the very best of luck, and it sounds like a fa fabulous uh, project, and I'm sure you've got plenty more up your sleeve. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.